Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. It is Saturday, almost four o'clock, and I am sitting here in my studio filming for like the 100th time today, probably the 200th for the week. It has been a long week and it has been taxing to say the least, but here I am. So I'm gonna give you a little data dump on what's, what's going on and what's going on going forward. So this week, I had day job work Monday through Wednesday. Then I took Thursday and Friday off because I had surgery on Thursday. So everything was leading up to that surgery. And I was trying to get as much done as I possibly could before surgery. Everything seemed to be okay. I mean, I had a lot of last minute shit, but that's just the way life is. And the worst part of, the, of getting to the surgery was the fiasco that happened between the doctor's office and the pharmacy. There wasn't very good communication there. So I didn't have the medication that I needed to have after surgery. But more importantly, I was not aware of the fact that I had to have medication before the surgery. And I found out that morning. The day before, I went to go pick up my prescription for the pain medication for after surgery and they said we don't have it and i'm like what do you mean you don't have it and he says well it there's it, there's a shortage we don't have it in fact it doesn't exist for at least 20 square miles so you're gonna have to get a hold of the doctor and find out if he can give you a different strength or an entirely different medication and i'm like okay and they're like they were gonna send a note to the doctor and someone would reach out to me so i got up the next day day of surgery, nobody had reached out to me. So I was out trying to get some errands done prior to the surgery. And then I was going to come home, shower, get all my shit ready and relax before surgery. Well, that didn't happen because the doctor's office called me, you know, at some point that morning and we're like, what did they tell you at the pharmacy? And I explained it and she's like, okay, you're probably not gonna get this medication until after the surgery sorry, I doubt they'll put it through that fast. And I was like, okay, well, if that's what I got to do. And then she said, did you get your Valium? And I'm like, did I, did I get what? And she said, the Valium. And I'm like, I, I didn't see anything that told me I had to have Valium because I got this big packet of shit that, you know, went through everything about the surgery before, after, during, whatever. And I'm like, uh, I didn't see anything that indicated that I needed to get that. So I'm going to say they don't have that either. And she's like, oh my God. She's like, all right, I'm going to have to call that in because you need to have that before the surgery. You need to take it before. And I'm like, okay. And she's like, you know, you're going to have to give me some time, at least 10, 15 minutes. And I'm like, well, I'll just go there now. By the time I get there, maybe they'll, they'll have it ready. <laughs> no, they did not. Now, this is not their fault. They didn't get the prescription until after I had already gotten there. And they were slammed. So after all that went through, it got to the point where I was in that pharmacy for an hour and a half waiting to get this freaking Valium that I needed to take. And finally, I'm like, okay, look, I don't want to be that guy, but I need to take this damn pill before my surgery. My surgery is in less than an hour now. And they're like, oh my God, you know, so they finally got it through and I got it. In the meantime, I'm like texting my wife, like, this is insane. Like, I can't believe, like, I still need to do all this shit before we even leave. Now I'm not going to have time to do it. So I got home, tried to loosen my sphincter so that I didn't forget shit. You know, I took off all my weapons. I got all my stuff together that they said I needed to have. I had the paperwork and everything. And then, like, my wife was like, stop, take a breath think about this. Do you have what you need? Da, 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 da. And I was like, yes. All right. I need to take this friggin' pill. So I took the Valium and then we drove to, she drove to where I was going to have this surgery. It's about 15, 20 minutes away. By the time I got there, I didn't give a rat's ass about anything. Let's hear it for the Valium. It really, really relaxed me, which is good because I was really spun up and like, ah, you know, after going through the whole fiasco of, of the entire day before and that morning, I got in, I got checked in, paid for everything. Then they were like, just go have a seat and, you know, we'll call you. I, I was in and out of that surgery in less than an hour. They brought my wife in, they explained to her like 
aftercare and what I needed to do because I was kind of like relaxed from the Valium. Plus I'm a dumb monkey. So, you know, she got the gist of everything and then we left. Now I hadn't eaten since breakfast because I wasn't supposed to eat like right before. So I was pretty freaking hungry. So we went to Domo Ishii and she got ramen and I got a poke bowl, went home, I ate half my poke bowl. And then I was like, I'm gonna go upstairs and lay down. And she's like, you should do that. So that's what I did. I went upstairs, put the headphones in on my iPad, picked a video, never got to the end of that three minute video. I was out cold. So I was out for probably two or three hours. In the meantime, good for her. She also decided to just go ahead and let sleep come. She took a nap, that cat napped on his chair. So we had family nap time and everything was great. Then I got up and I felt fine. Not in pain, but uncomfortable. And I got into my aftercare and all that kind of stuff. Now, here's the irony of all of this about, about getting these drugs. Back a, a couple years ago, I had this entity that I called Fred cut out of the back of my head. So they gave me pain pills for that too. I took one of those pills. It did not agree with me. It was a, a oxycodone with whatever the hell else, you know. I didn't, did not like the way that it made me feel. I took it once and then I just dealt with the pain. So when I got this new medication that they gave me for this time, I looked at it, it was the exact same thing. And I'm like, I'm not taking it. My wife's like, dude, they gave it to you for a reason. You're supposed to take it. And I go, I'm not fucking taking it. I don't wanna feel like that. In the meantime, before then, my mother-in-law had suggested that, that perhaps I take the Tylenol uh, what was it, Tylenol arthritis strength. So while I was dicking around that morning before I even got to the pharmacy, I ended up buying some of that just in case. And I've only taken that since then. I'm fine. Again, I'm not in pain. I'm just incredibly uncomfortable. So that's pretty much where we went. That was Thursday. And then Friday, yesterday, I was trying to be a good boy. I didn't shower, which is... <laughs> I didn't shower, I didn't go anywhere until the end of the day, and then I was like, I gotta freaking go get some coffee because I need to get the hell out of the house here. So I went out and I got that and I came back, and then, you know, she made dinner last night, and we just laid around watching cartoons and Star Trek and all that kind of shit, and everything was peachy. So she had to go to work today, I got up, made myself breakfast and everything, and then that's pretty much it. I did go to three ships and chilled for a little bit, and then I took her coffee, and now I'm home and I'm doing this. Again, I filmed this a thousand times, and I was like, what am I gonna tell people? What do I not wanna tell people? Blah, 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 and you know, the whole week, work, this, that, and the other thing. So this is pretty much it. It's done, it's over, I should be fine. I am fine, and I will continue to be fine. Now, I'm just going to chill, uh, like another hour before she gets back from work. And then I'm gonna go to Tijuana Flats because that's what we thought about earlier when I dropped it off. She's like, you gotta think about dinner and Tijuana Flats came up. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure that they're open this time because last time I drove there and they freaking closed early. And, and then also we had the disappointment of not getting Tijuana Flats. So gonna check that out. We're gonna get Tijuana Flats. Tonight's Sven Gulli night. I'm not doing jack shit. I definitely not doing any day job work today at all. I've, I've resigned myself to Saturdays of being absolutely no day job work and that's that. So I'm not going out this week and I've got calls scheduled for Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday and I'll get those all done and, and then we'll proceed from there. So at this point now, all is well. The monkey has had his surgery. He's okay. You know, everything is peachy keen and I just sort of wanted to let you know. now. I have always done kind of the same outro where, where, you know, I'm like, all right, that's it. You know, thanks for joining me, like scribe, all that kind of shit, blah, 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 and everything. Well, I stopped saying the whole, you know, be sure to like and subscribe because it's been suggested that that's just pandering to the audience and all that kind of shit and all that stuff. But I've said it for so long that it started to mess with me when I wasn't saying it. And every time I did my outro, I had to do it several times because I would get like messed up because I wasn't used to not saying it and it felt so foreign that I started screwing it up and then I'd have to do it again and again. So I'm gonna go back to old tricks and I'm gonna go with that. If somebody doesn't like it, I don't give a shit. So that's all you get for today. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe and remember kids, forward and up.